In today's video, I'm going to show you three typography tricks in Adobe Illustrator that are very easy to make, yet they look very cool. If you want to skip the intro, move to the time card in the corner. And remember to subscribe to Satori Graphics if you do enjoy my content. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. If you subscribe to my channel, remember to turn on those notifications by pressing the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Now, let's get on with these three typography tricks in Adobe Illustrator. This first typography trick in Adobe Illustrator is great for magazines, flyers and other editorial designs. We are going to wrap typography text around a vector soldier here. The first thing we need to do is to grab the type tool or press T on your keyboard for the shortcut and then click and drag to make a box. I've copied some text online for the purposes of this tutorial, but you can type your text directly into this box. If you do paste it in, however, hit Command or Control V. This is now a very crucial step in the process. Click your object, so mine's going to be the soldier guy here, and bring it to the very front like so. We want the typography to be behind the object. To edit the typography text, press Command or Control T to open up the character window. Here we can change the space between the lettering, i.e. the kerning, change the leading, the font size and even the font type. With your object selected, go up to Object, Text Wrap and Text Wrap Options. I'm showing this window here because we're going to be using it again soon. Now go back up to Object and Text Wrap, but select Make. As you can see, it's made a small gap here, but we can make this a lot better by going into the Text Wrap Options menu that I showed you just now. If I then type in something like 40 points, you will see how much better the typography trick effect is. Also, you can move your object around and the effect will still work anywhere on your typography text. In this next typography trick in Adobe Illustrator, we're going to make a cool looking typography logo in two minutes flat. You want a very tall font, and I personally feel that sans serif fonts work best for this trick. And by the way, that's a font which has no feet on it. I've chosen Go Bold High for my text. With your typography selected in Adobe Illustrator, go up to Effect, Warp, and then Bulge. You then simply adjust the slider until you're happy, and the trick is to get the text into a kind of circle shape. Once you've added the effect to your typography, you can still edit and even change the font in the character window. Now with the ellipse tool, hold down shift and click and drag to make a perfect circle. Add a colour to the circle and I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to take white from the canvas onto my typography. Then bring your typography over to the circle and you need to bring the text layer to the front. Finally, you can select part of the typography with the type tool and change the opacity for a better effect.
For the last typography trick in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to show you a quick effect you can make using the blend tool on your typography. Use the rectangle tool to make a color background and then lock it in place so it doesn't move around. I'm using a font called Lemon Milk, but you can use whatever font you think looks best for your typography trick design. Type out your word or phrase and then resize it by holding down shift and clicking and dragging. You then need to hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag to duplicate the typography. We will need to copy later. On the original text, flick the fill over to a stroke and increase the stroke weight if need be. Then duplicate it down along the canvas in Adobe Illustrator. Select both copies of text on the canvas by clicking over them and then go up to Object, Blend and Blend Options. You need to choose specified steps and you can experiment how many steps you want to use, but I'm going to use 30. Once you've done that, go back up to Object and Blend, but this time click Make. Now if you bring the other typography object over on top perfectly, our cool typography trick is complete. Thanks for tuning in to Satori Graphics for today's tutorial on three typography tricks in Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoy my content, subscribe for four weekly graphic design uploads here at Satori Graphics. Like and share my content if you found it useful, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.